What is the frustration faced by most freelancers, uh, solopreneurs, and consultants? And so the answer to the question is basically this. The main frustration that most solopreneurs, uh, consultants, and as uh, solopreneurs, consultants, and freelancers face is that when they stop working, the money stops. Now, if we take a while and uh, let's examine why is that the case, it's because first and foremost, they are the business, right? So many a times, like in the past, when I look at uh, my own business, for example, I am the business. So when people contact my firm and people wants to hire me or wants to hire my firm, in effect, they are actually hiring me. And so as a result of that, you know, I'm constrained by the fact that uh, I can only be at one place uh, at one time. And so for me to scale and for me to really take it to the next level, uh, I am limited by the constraint of time as well as location. So. So first and foremost, the key thing is that for many solopreneurs, freelancers, and consultants, we are the business. Um, and that's where we want to look at how else we could kind of uh, rethink the way we look at business from a solopreneurs, a consultants, freelancers. I'm just going to call this broad category, this three categories of consultants, solopreneurs, freelancers as solopreneurs from now on. Otherwise, it will be really cumbersome to each time to say consultants, solopreneurs and trainers and, and, and freelancers. Yeah, so we're just going to call them all by solopreneurs. So basically, the, the main problem that these solopreneurs face is that, you know, they are the business. And so in order for us to think about how do we get out of this situation, this problem, this challenge, we got to get a better understanding of what, uh, why, is that, why is that the case in the first place. So going from the C, which is challenge, to L, which is learning, let's take a deeper dive into why is it that most solopreneurs face this problem?